hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is ivy and i'm a makeup artist youtuber and content creator based in asaba delta state nigeria and in today's video i'm going to be recreating this beautiful makeup look using only nuban beauty products mind you nuban beauty is a nigerian owned makeup brand and i'm going to be spilling the tea and telling you my honest opinions about each of the products i use now if it's a content you would like to see then please keep on watching and while you're at it kindly kindly subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on that red button underneath this video or go into the description box to click on my subscription link like this video comment on this video and please kindly share this video if and only if you possibly can i'll see you in a bit welcome back guys so i have already gone ahead to prime my face off camera because i have been seeing reviews i have watched several reviews of the nuban beauty mattifying primer and from what i could see it had this silicone like um finish to it and i already know from experience that such primers do not work for me so i have already gone ahead to prime my face off camera using one of my mattifying primers i have been using this foundation for a while and i know that it's not very oily skin friendly today i'll be using the Nuban beauty my skin foundation in the shade w11 michelle obama and i'm just going to squirt this much and apply that all over my face this is a really 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 natural finish foundation i just like the skin like finish it gives even though it is not very oily skin friendly like when you apply the foundation it looks really nice but after about three hours four hours if you did not prime properly your oils start to do can you see that skin like finish your oils start to deal with the foundation and uh -huh, you start blotting so that is not what you want if you have oily skin so if you are going to go for this foundation then please 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 go for a mattifying primer to help the foundation wear very well I like the foundation even though I have oily skin because it gives can you see that skin like finish it gives coverage I'm just going back in to these areas because I can see that some of my scars are showing through it gives coverage and It blends really easily. Then down your neck too. And there you have it guys. See? That beautiful skin like finish. For concealer, I was going to color correct with my Nuban Beauty Concealer in 050 but this foundation has covered the bags underneath my eyes so i'm going to punt this and just go in with my nuban beauty in my skin liquid concealer in the shade 046 i learned now that they have some new shades in this concealer that is actually good news Shows that they are expanding their shade range. Everybody who knows me knows that I love this Nuban Beauty Concealer. It's like 
my holy girl i've been using this concealer for years and in fact in my i was going to link the video below where i talked about my top five favorite concealers for oily skin this concealer made the cut so i love the concealer a lot We are just going to go back now to blend this concealer into our foundation using our foundation brush without adding any additional product and then we are going to go in and set for set, setting our face today we are going to be using the Nuban Beauty Oil Control Setting Powder, powder, setting powder in the shade Caramel Okay. I really don't care for this powder. The last video I did on products I regret buying, uh -huh. I mentioned this powder in that video. Like the sifter, everything about this powder. It's not really my jam. I just opened it now and it has spot everywhere. Minus that, it really doesn't set my makeup very well. So I like to mix it with my Laura Mercier powder. Most times I use it or after I go in with my pressed powder to set my concealer, I then use this to bake. I can't wait for this powder to get finished. Like I have to use use my money's worth out of the powder i really don't have a choice I'm going to set now my brow because I really get oily there. As you can see, like in setting, I can see that my face is beginning to get glowy. I don't own any Mom Beauty brow products, so. We're going to go off camera now and do our brows and then come right back to do our eyes. We're done with the brows guys. I cleaned up underneath my brow with the number 46 concealer and set underneath the brow with my caramel powder. For eyeshadow today, we're going to be using the Nuban Beauty Wishes 18 color eyeshadow palette. This palette has seen far, far better days. This is the eyeshadow right here. It doesn't have names, shade names, so um, I think I'm just. Ah, oh, shadow is so dirty. I have been using this eyeshadow palette. This is one product that I can vouch for that I can say you should get because. It delivers I want to do a neutral eye look we are going to be starting with this shade right here it's looking too light I don't know how it's going to apply let's see it's looking really really light oh, it's not showing up on my skin tone at, as much as I would like um, it's too, it's almost my skin color. Okay, let's go in with 
this shade right here this brownish red shade let's go in with that for our transition i just want the color to show up yes this is showing up now i love that look since i did that my last nickel tutorial eh? hmm. I've been loving um, having reds and pinks in my crease. I don't know. I used to be a muted brown kind of girl, and suddenly I'm beginning to love this <coughs> very, very warm tones. And mind you, I'm using my Morphe M513 blending brush to blend this eye makeup. Now I'm going to take in my Morphe M433 brush with this dark brown shade right here the only thing missing in this eyeshadow palette is a black eyeshadow because i'm thinking i need a black to deepen this eye makeup look but let's see if we can make this work okay not bad I'm just going to pat it on and then blend it in. We're going to have to do like a colorful eye makeup tutorial very soon because I have been getting a lot of requests for colorful eye makeup. So for shadow today, hmm. I want to use this cranberry color right here and apply that all over the lid. This is like one of my favorite shadows and these shadows are highly pigmented like if you don't buy anything from Nuban Beauty, the eyeshadow, they did a very very good job. Can you see guys how pigmented that is? It is without laying it on any like I didn't go over my eye again with a concealer apart from the concealer that I blended over my eyelid when I was blending my under eye concealer. So you can just imagine if I had gone in with like an eyeshadow base, imagine how much payoff this eyeshadow would get so that goes to show guys that it's a good product can you guys see this like huh. I'm going to go back in with that dark brown shade again and use it to marry these two colors right here just to make it look very well blended the key to any beautiful eye makeup look is blending okay so i'm going to take this into the crease just to clean it up but this morphe m433 brush is a bit too big so i'm going to go into my delium tools 776 brush and go into that first second shade we used and use that to blend in this place and you see just blend it in properly so that it's not like a stark eyeshadow blend 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 blending is key guys Hmm. and there we are having the eye makeup look looking really 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 pretty um i don't have Nuban beauty mascara i think they do have mascara or so i heard so let me just put on my mascara my lashes then we'll come see what's up with the makeup look to smoke out 
aloe lash line we're going to mix this color right here and this deeper brown that we used earlier and we're going to use a mixture of those two to smoke out our lower lash line I really wish that as much as I love this eyeshadow I really wish that they had like some deeper browns and black in this palette I've smoked out my lower lash line it's it's showing sure enough but it's not as um vibrant as i would want to want it to be and i do not want to reach into any other eyeshadow palette so we move now i'm going to dust off this bick from underneath my eye you know i did my eye look and there is a little bit of fallout so i'm just going to go with the sweeping motion first like i swept about three times out just sweep and then you press in this is the best method i have discovered helps the powder set your concealer better Now to set our face, we're going to be using the Nupam Beauty Mineral Finishing Powder and mine is in the shade 07 Abuja and it looks just like this. Um, this powder, there's a trick to working with this powder. What I like to do first is to go in with my beauty sponge and take some of this powder and then just press it into my skin like I'm pressing pressing it into my skin to help set the makeup first like press in press in press in if you want a very sheer coverage you can just go in with a brush and do like a light dusting all over your face but like I always say I have oily skin so man we have to take precaution so I'm going to press and in, push into the skin first. That is the very, very first step we're going to be taking in setting this face. Okay. Then after that, I'm going to now go in with a powder brush and tap into the powder. You can see it has like really really good payoff and then set some more and use it to blend the powder that we already applied initially it just helps with a seamless blend can you see how beautiful that that looks can you see that for blush, we are going to be going into this orange and this shade right here, like this orange, this orange, this one, and this one. We're going to be mixing the two of them to get our blush shade for today. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this cheek is cheeky you now. The blush is blushing. Ah, ah. You can see how versatile this eyeshadow palette is. I'm just going to go back in with my powder brush now without adding any additional product and just try to blend everything all out because this blush is blushing. Okay. Then for highlight, we're going to go into that same shade we use for our eyeshadow color this one right here now we're going to apply that lightly on the apples of the cheek can you see how natural the highlight is i mean it's 
giving some pink champagne gold vibes but I want something subtle I just want there to be a subtle glow there and the other shadow in this palette that we could have used is like gold gold and I don't want to go gold this is really looking nice I just see the subtle glow there. Really looking nice. Once more, we are going to go in with our powder brush and just kind of marry everything together. We are slowly getting there. What we are going to do now, I'm just going to cover my eyes and set my face using the Nuban Beauty Sealy Makeup Fixing Spray, which looks just like this. You can see I'm halfway done. This is another really, really, really nice Nuban Beauty product. Um, there's a product of that I've tried before too. They're lash glue, but I didn't really like it like that. Just shake up, please, before you spray. I didn't send that, that lash glue, so um, I don't know what happened to it. I think I gave it to my sister or my friend. I don't know what happened to it, but let's set the face. You can see how we drenched the face. Now I'm going to go back into my beauty sponge, and you can see this part right here that there is no product on. I'm going to use that to push the setting spray into the skin, like. This is the secret to a long lasting makeup because it is going to set everything in place. Don't rub, don't do anything, just tap, 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 and it is locking that makeup. It is not going anywhere. Tap, 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 and then, can you see? How beautiful the skin looks. Tap, tap, tap. And then you leave the makeup to dry. And when it dries, you will not believe the natural skin like finish result you're going to get. For lips today, I have a Nuban Beauty lipstick that I have been loving of recent. And that is the Nuban Beauty Pro Matte lipstick in the shade orchid and i'm just going to be applying that now on my lips i don't own any nuban beauty red lipstick red would have just been the perfect color for this top i have right here but we will go with what we have available nuban beauty liquid lipsticks are also really really good products like among the liquid, liquid lipstick i've tried up from nigerian own makeup brands nuban beauty and zaron are like the best i've tried so far hmm. for lip gloss i'm going to be using the Nuban Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Orchid. It's a new product. I just just busted it out for this makeup tutorial. So there you have it, guys. Our finished look, full face makeup tutorial using only Nuban Beauty products. Um, let's. Have a recap on the products that I used for this makeup tutorial and the ones I love and the ones I really do not care for. This is my first time. Okay, let's go in order of application. I didn't get a face primer because it's not gonna work for me, so I didn't bother. The foundation is really nice. I love the finish, I love the skin-like finish it gives. 
it blends really easily it's true to color like it's you know from some foundation it's not too drying it doesn't have those weird color payoff it's really nice but if you have very oily skin then you have to make sure you prep your skin properly before you go in with this product by using a matte, very very mattifying primer like the Rimmel Stay Matte or the Sasha I'm sorry Becca Ever Matte Primer the concealer it's a staple now you guys know I love this blends easily it's not so fast drying it's full coverage it just like I said, I'm going to list, put the video, top five concealers for oily skin I did sometime last year in the description box below. There you get to learn everything about this concealer. It is worth every cobble. The setting powder, mm, meh. I don't really care for this powder. Like It's still full, but some days I even forget that I own this powder. It's not my thing. Um, going into the what is it now? The face powder, the mineral face powder. This powder has been likened to the Mac Mineralized Skin Finish. I love this powder a lot, but you have to know how to work with it. You saw the way I applied the powder. Going first with a sponge or a puff and press the powder into the skin before you go in with your brush to set your makeup in place properly i love this powder to bits the setting spray you can see like i am almost halfway gone this is not the only setting spray i own i own about six other setting sprays but I love the setting spray. I've been reaching for it of recent and uh, in fact, it has been on my vanity for the past two weeks now. I don't know. I just love the the way it sets my makeup in place. It really keeps my makeup in place so long lasting. Most times I have makeup on my face between the hours of 8 and 6, like almost every day, probably apart from some few Saturdays. So that is almost 10 hours wear of makeup daily and this um, Nuban Beauty Sealant Makeup Fixing Spray just has a way of I don't know when I drench my face the way I did and press the certain spray into the skin it just locks my makeup in place even though I, I, I will definitely get oily during the day as the day progresses um, my makeup doesn't move it doesn't shift and once I blot I am good to go now the other product we used today um, was the eyeshadow palette i've had this eyeshadow palette i've owned this eyeshadow palette for almost three years now and it's still going strong i love it the only thing is it's highly pigmented everything is on point with this eyeshadow palette the only thing is i wish i really really wish like there was a like a dark burgundy a black in this palette but other than that it is a really really good investment and in watch your money the Nuban Beauty Lash Glue mm, I've used it before I didn't like it so I didn't bother getting it again the Nuban Beauty liquid lipsticks like I said they are like one of the best formula I have tried from Nigerian own makeup brand so you can get that they have different shades I have orchid I have about four shades of this but I just love this shade orchid a lot and then I recently just got this Nuban Beauty High Gloss. This is my first time trying it out. As the day progresses, I will see how it holds up. Um, it doesn't really give that glossy, glossy finish. And it does have some pigmentation to it. So um, I don't really know. I'm going to try it out some more and then give my verdict on the Nuban Beauty Gloss. So there you have it guys. That is the end of our products. Full face makeup products. That is the end of our video guys. <laughs> That's the end of our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by over and over again. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for watching my videos. Just thank you for just being there. Okay. 
and i'll see you in my very very next video next week bye guys